nicknames. You'd think someone with such a unique name wouldn't need one, right? <laughs> you were wrong. I realized that I have such a weird relationship with nicknames considering my name is Liberty that I decided to make a whole video about it. Enjoy! I've had so many nicknames in my life. Since my older brother's name is Justice, when I was born my parents couldn't help but continue the theme and decided to name me Liberty. When I was really little, all the members of my extended family would call me Libby. This led to some people thinking my full name was Elizabeth and I'd get weird looks when I had to correct them on it. Then after a while, my parents told everyone that Libby was my baby name and I kinda grew out of it. I think the worst nickname I ever got was probably that one time the 7th grade boys in the back of the bus started calling me Bert and joking about how great of a nickname it was. Like, it's not even that original. You just chopped off the first and last part of... <sighs> Anyways. <laughs> My freshman year of high school, I joined a club where my English teacher taught us how to read and write Latin. I was promptly called Libertas, even outside of the club from then on out, and had my name conjugated almost every time we had a meeting. It was great. One of my friends also called me Birdie because it kind of sounds like I'm a bird then, and it's kind of cute, but it's still cutting off one syllable of my name. But I'll allow it. Also, libs is allowed because it's cute and it rhymes with ribs, which I find kind of silly. <laughs> then my senior year of high school, my AP Calculus and Physics teacher made the sad mistake of calling me Libby one day in class, and I kind of sat in silence for so long that my friend sitting behind me chimed in with a nobody calls her that, and I proceeded to feel so awkward about it that I just said, just call me Libroti, okay? <laughs> he did. For the rest of the year. He was also in my Double Derive It video. It was great. That's also where I got the name for my squad from, so that's fun. Of course, being a counselor at summer camp earns you a lot of nicknames too. My favorite one was probably Libertai. It's just got a really good ring to it, you know? Definitely more tasteful than Bert, but what do I know? I'm just a YouTuber. <laughs> Anyways. My roommate calls me Liberty sometimes, and one time I thought someone had called me Liberty, but I was wrong. Oh, I'm so glad I was wrong. <laughs> I also work at an after-school program now, and this one little boy in my group calls me Liberdad, and it's the cutest thing ever. He asked my coworker how to properly say my name in English, but it's so pure as it is I never want it to change. I think the best part about nicknames, though, is that I feel obligated to make them for other people to make things less awkward. <laughs> and it's never like friends or little kids, it's always people of authority for some reason. Like my math professor last year, this is in college, mind you, told us not to call him professor last name, but just by his first name. But in emails I thought that was too informal and I decided... Yes, I'm calling him Professor First Name. It's not too formal, but not too informal. It's perfect. Foolproof, even. <laughs> he got a kick out of it, to say the least. I've called my dad a lot of things. All good things. All good things. But my favorite one at the moment is daddy -o on the patio. It rhymes, and it's true, and I just really like it. <laughs> And this past August, my friend Dominic's mom drove us to a concert, and I wanted to be polite, but he told me that she didn't like to be called Mrs. Last Name, so when she drove me home, I stopped for a second before getting out and said, Thank you, Mominic, and left without another word. She also got a kick out of it, but just, if you're in a position where people have to call you some formal thing and you don't like it, by the time that information gets to me, you're gonna regret it, Buster. <laughs> so what do you guys think? Is there a whole other world of nicknames that I haven't ventured into yet? What's your favorite nickname? I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Also, if you want your fan art featured at the end of one of my videos, or if you just want to hang out outside of YouTube, click the link in the description. Thank you so much for the fan art. It warms my heart every time I see it. I love you all, and I'll see you in the next video. Pizza out.